Okay, guys. So we're going to look at section uh, three, uh, four point one today, actually, and we're going to start by talking about the behavior of polynomial functions. One of the most uh, common polynomial functions that we're all used to is y equals x squared. If I want to talk about the degree of this polynomial, I just look at the exponent right there. It's two. So I would say then that this degree is going to be even. We would also say that the leading coefficient is whatever is right in front of this x squared. So I would say the leading coefficient, you don't need to write this down, just kind of watch. The leading coefficient is positive. You all should know what that kind of graph looks like. That's just going to be a problem that opens up. Even if we do other things to this, like if we have a plus x or a plus 3, all that does is shifts it up and down and does things like that. It doesn't change the basic fact that at the end of this function, it's going up here and it's going up here. See how that's the direction the arrows are pointing at the end? Now, what would happen if I changed it from being a leading coefficient that's positive to being a leading coefficient that's negative? So I'm going to change it. I'm going to put a negative here. So now I'm going to make the leading coefficient negative. What does that do to the function? Flips it over, doesn't it? So now it's going to look like this. So now we would say the end behavior is like that, right? It's opening down in both directions. So what generalization we can make is any time we have an even function, when it's positive, it's always going to go like this. It goes in the same direction and it goes up. When we have that even coefficient and the, uh, sorry, the even degree and the leading coefficient is negative, it still does the same thing at the end, but it goes down in both directions. What about if we change the degree though? Let's say we now have an odd function like x to the third. You should know what x to the third looks like, right? kind of this kind of shape. Right. So with this degree, what's true of the degree right there? It is what? Odd. And the leading coefficient, I'm just going to call that LC, is what? Positive. And we can see that the behavior here is opposite. So at this end it's pointing down, and at this end it's pointing up. It has opposite in behavior. So any time that degree is odd, we have that opposite end behavior. And when that degree is even, we have that same end behavior. When I used to try to memorize this, I would just think ODD. See how it kind of looks like the opposite? It kind of looks similar. So that might help you. So what's going to happen then if instead of having a positive leading coefficient, we change it to a negative? What does that do to our graph? What does it do to our graph if we put a negative in front of any function? Flips it, doesn't it? So now it's going to look like that. And so now it's going to be going up and then down. All right. So we're going to talk about how all this can be written more um, sophisticated of a way when we get into our notes in our book. But right now, I want you to get out your student journal, and I want you to do the matching in your student journal. This is for section 4.1. So this is the exploration on page 76. I want you to match up those functions with the graph.